of dominance. Allegations of doping continue. What has happened to sports? Should the record still count? Today, we celebrate the first draft of the Human Book of Life. It's been called the age of wearable technology. Amazing things happen when we merge technology with our body. We will set the technological foundation for an enhanced human experience, and we will end disability. How does that sound? <laughs> Good. In our pursuit of progress, if we undermine the morals that define us, what good is our beloved progress then? The court declared discrimination against modified persons unconstitutional. A historic day in sports as the IBA becomes the first league to allow modified athletes to compete. There she is, the fastest human in history. After all the debate, all the controversy, victory. Scientists announced they created the first networked brain-to-brain -brain connection. You can now literally share your thoughts with someone else. Biotech market skyrockets as DNA upgrades and organ replacements become the new luxury. You look at me and you see only what you want to see. But you know what I see? Everything. The 2055 retinal implant from Court Optic. Massive blast set. Bionics firm Coalescence Corporation sparks worldwide protest. We can no longer stand in silence as these scientists play God. This is not about technology. This is about right and wrong. You think the retinal chips that you buy at the mall are high tech? Our military is light years ahead of that. The things that we use to heal ourselves, they are using to literally turn humans into weapons. The notion that the United States sponsors some sort of super soldier program is not just untrue, it's patently absurd. Next question. Neural control, voluntary limb replacement. This is happening. The only question that remains is how far will we allow it to go?